Hello and welcome to another video on Learn SQL. And in today's video, we are going to discuss index. Now, what happens is when you're working with databases, you write down select statement. You might also write down very complex select statement. Now, what happens when you start writing down complex select statement? You have multiple joins, so your the SQL when you try to do multiple tables start slowing down. Now, to make sure that these SQLs getting giving us the required performance, what we do, we create indexes. Now, indexes helps uh, you know to identify the join columns quickly, uh, and based on that, we can will able to quickly be able to return the results. Now, so that is why there is a requirement of indexes. Indexes are created on join columns. Sometimes we might include the group by columns, but typical objective is that. It should join faster and based on that, we should be able to have the where clause faster. So we will try wherever we are frequent condition, we are frequently joining or where we are frequently putting conditions. We try to cover those columns in our indexes. Now indexes improve the performance of the query. Sometime if you, your indexes can have the full index scan or only index scan, then it, it is really advantageous because in that case, the table would not be read especially if the tables are really big indexes can help a lot to improve the performance now are there any disadvantages now the disadvantages here is basically if you create too many indexes it may actually slow down the performance of your insert update delete or your curd operation so now what happens is basically when you create the index it improves the performance uh, of the select statement but what happens the, there's a cost when you are inserting, these indexes need to be updated. Otherwise, when you run the select next time after having some inserts or update, the newer stats are not there, the queries might not perform. So because of this reason, we actually uh, need to have the limited set of indexes which are best suitable. If there are too many, then it may slow down the performance. There are too many indexes. And too many indexes can also confuse the database in the plan. So we should have the optimal number of indexes always. Now, modern day databases, they are doing optimization where you might not need indexes. The database itself can decide what kind of indexes or what kind of tuning is required based on the queries. So you might not need it. So there are chances that uh, you might not have to create in some of the modern cloud database and indexes and they still give you the required performance. Now, when we create indexes, most of the database provide at multiple options. Like in SQL Server, we have clustered index and non-clustered index, but very common. There could be other types also. In SQL Oracle, we have bitmap index and B-tree indexes. The normal indexes is B-tree, and most of the time, the normal indexes will follow the B-tree structure in databases. Now, in MySQL, you have index. Now, Postgres, you even have a gin index for you know uh, the optimizing the searching of the um, uh, some text uh, analysis which you wanted to do. So then we can create the index and if needed, we can drop the index. Now, when we come to the SQL Server, and right now we are um, learning the things on the SQL Server. On SQL Server, the cluster, if you create a primary key, by default, the cluster index will get created. Okay. So, and only one cluster index can be created per table because if you create a key, uh, then that will organize your table in that manner and it automatically create a cluster index. Right now our tables doesn't have any indexes. So we have a liberty to create index on a clustered index or a non-clustered index. Let me give you a simple example. How do we create an index? So let's say I have an item table and I want to create an index. Create index, index name. Let's say item underscore non-unique one on table name, which is item. And what are the column I can say item underscore ID is the column I can want to create an index. Now there are databases if I try to create another index on the same column might give uh, error. There are other databases which might not give you error. So let's say I wanted to create a new two, which is the same on this column. You see SQL Server is not giving an error, but if you try to do something like this in Oracle, you will be able, you will be getting an error and that you know the exactly same index is available. Now, when I need to drop the index, again, the syntax might differ. Now I say drop index 
and you two it doesn't and then i say on item two, on item it drop now in case of oracle the indexes are uniquely identified all the indexes have the, are uniquely identified so you will be able to drop the indexes by simply saying drop index index name now these are the simple non clustered indexes you can create any number of a non clustered index so i can now go ahead because i already dropped it i can have it on multiple columns and i know that you know uh, uh i can have index uh, like say i want to join on the item id then a brand is something which is very commonly we use as a filter we category is another thing which is basically we are going to use in the filter so we can have the category column also okay same way if you are filtering sub category we can have the index on the sub category now this includes my primary key column also and because we have not created any indexes which is basically the clustered index and if i refresh this one i refresh my database and i go to the table i can go to my item table and i can look into the indexes it shows me the my indexes which i have okay and so because there is no primary key has been created on this table i can go ahead and you know uh, create a clustered index also so same i can create a clustered index let me try out by saying create create clustered index and let me call it because it's going to be unique index and let me call cl cluster index is going to be unique so i can say u for unique and let me create it on these three columns now it has been created let me refresh it refresh it from here now you see cluster index and it is showing that it is clustered and previously it was showing it's a non unique non clustered index now it is a clustered index now though it was unique uh, in terms of having item id we have not specified a unique so it's created now let's say can i specify unique there can i say okay create unique index and i i say and you three i want to create a unique index and i am taking item id brand and criteria so i am able to create a unique index and now let me show you what happens now unique index is when if better than the non unique indexes because then database know that you have the unique values and it will for faster now item id is unique and because of that we are able to create the unique index also now before we further go ahead and try it out let's try to create another clustered index are we able to create another clustered index so i want to create cluster index c2 and on one table we say we can create only one cluster index so does it allow so it can, it does not allow us we cannot have more than one cluster index now fine that is fine okay can we create a no unique index on the non unique columns so we go ahead and try and when we say on u4 and this time we remove item id from here this is not unique and this combination is also not unique because we know only 29 such uh, 36 such values are there which are unique in uh, which are available but our table has more than that many rows so this is not unique so we are not able to create a unique index so you will only be able to create unique index when you include the unique column it is not necessary that only you should only have the unique column there you can have the non unique column after you have the unique the combination should be unique or you have the combination of column which is creating it unique as long as the combination is unique you will be able to create a unique index so what happens when you create unique index it's just like unique uh, key or the your primary key uh, you cannot have duplicate values so that is what the index is going to ensure once you create the unique index it is going to ensure that there are no values and if you try to insert into the table the index will fail and you will get an error so now we are able to create the clustered index non clustered index unique index all these similarly on other tables we can create indexes and we will be able to check the uh, run the queries and they should perform better now if there are too many indexes like right now there are so many indexes unnecessary repetition of indexes these all indexes can slow down your performance we have done testing so that is why we repeated the same set of columns in the different different indexes we should not so show 
Now let us say we wanted to work with the sales table. Now in the sales table, one of the index which we can create is, you know, create index and I can create a non-unique index. So I can say sales underscore non-unique one. And sometimes you can, you can make sure that you specify the things which are there. I can have item ID. I can have a city ID and I can have customer ID and I can have a date. Now I, why, why will I have these four columns sales date? Because these are my joint columns. Isn't it? These are my joint columns. So these are the four columns we are going to create on sales. So create index NU1 on sales, item ID, city ID, customer ID, sales. These are my four, four joint column with four different dimensions and they are going to help me to have a join quickly. Most of my filters are happening on the other side. So the on the tables where I am joining, like let's say item, I will create indexes on item ID, brand and category. City I will create on uh, city and state, city ID, city and state. I'm, that is what index I'm going to create on the geography table. So if one index can suffice the need one index, otherwise we'll create multiple index. Now in a bigger databases, you may have to create multiple indexes because there might be so much of data with the city and customer ID, like customer ID could be huge. So it may actually, if I include it into this index, it may actually slow down the performance uh, of overall whenever we are using item ID or city ID or date. So maybe I only create one index which can contain item ID and sales date. Another I create item IDs and city ID and sales date and third one I create this. Then I could have a city ID and sales uh, sales date also and customer ID sales date. These combinations I can have. So I can have these different kind of indexes depending on my need. Now, if your data warehouse is separate, then definitely when we load the data, we can disable the indexes. Now, different uh, databases allow, some databases allow you to have disable and enablement of indexes. In some databases, we drop and recreate them. Now, depending on your database, we can take a decision. So I'm creating one more in index on, one more index here and that index is on the sales table where we have created on the join columns and the filter columns. So sales date is going to be having a filter column here. All three others are basically our join columns and the filter is happening on the uh, join tables, which is item, uh, customer and geography. So we created index. We know how to drop the indexes. Syntax could be different, but uh, in different in other databases, there could be different kind of indexes, different databases offer. Um, so, but mo mostly you will have this one index, basically what we have the non-cluster or B3 kind of indexes would be available in most of the databases where you will be able to create. And these are most commonly used indexes. Then every database have their own uh, specific index. Some database will have clustered, like SQL Server have clustered indexes, Oracle have bit bitmap indexes. Now in case of bitmap indexes, it is created only when you have selected number of values, when you have very small number of values because they organize, they organize it in different manner. So what happens if you have only one or two values in that case, we will try to have the bitmap indexes or very limited number of values. Now that depends on the kind of database you have. So then we create the bitmap indexes. So those indexes perform uh, really good when you have lesser number of values, they organize the complete index in a different manner. So the way the data will be organized in the system based on that such things you are going to have. So go ahead and try these things out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular uh, SQL series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.